uh, Batten's disease or, or CLN2 as it's also known, or NCL2, uh, there are multiple names for it at this point. It's also known as late infantile neuronal ceroid lipofusnosis type 2, very complex name. But essentially it's a lipid storage disease. So in the patients who present with this particular disease, they are uh, missing a specific gene, TPP1 or uh, tripeptidyl peptidase 1. And what happens if you don't have this gene, and in the patients who don't who present, they don't have this gene whatsoever. They're autosomal recessive, it's gone. If you don't have this gene, you can't process proteins appropriately in vessels, vesicles in the brain. And you get a buildup of uh, peptides and a buildup of other lysosomal storage debris. That eventually leads to a degenerative signal going on in the cell and you lose those cells. Now in some areas, in some parts of the body, this is not a big deal. But when you're in the brain, you have very limited supply of neurons. What you born with essentially is what you have. So as you develop, you develop through life, you slowly build up this, um, this mix of uh, lysosomal storage issues. And you start to see degeneration. So you'll get to about four or five, you'll progress normally. And then you will start to start show symptoms. Often in a child, it's, um, it's a seizure, which is complicating because when you see a seizure, your doctor doesn't normally think about CLN2. They think about, do you have one of the many types of seizure disorders? So it takes a while for them to go through that. Problem is, is that during that period of time, you're losing neurons, you're losing all the time. And when I'm saying lose neurons, you're losing things in the cortices. You're losing neurons in the deep brain structures. We can't replace those. They're gone. And that further progresses over time and you regress in your function. So you might have been moving, you might have been learning, you might have had good motor control. But then you start to lose balance. You start to have seizures. You start to lose the ability to talk. You actually lose eyesight. So you actually regress backwards in time. Eventually that will progress to the point where you will need feeding tubes and breathing apparatus. You won't be able to function at all and ultimately it leads to a, uh, the death of the individual. And that all happens in about an eight year period. It's a very rapid progressive disease. Um, up until about a year and a half ago, two years ago, there really was no treatment for this disease.